Welcome back to Reading the Psalms. I'm Dan, and I'm going to read Psalm 119, verses 73 through 80 today. Psalm 119, starting in verse 73. Jod. Thy hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. They that fear thee shall see me and be glad, because I have hoped in your word. I know, O Lord, that your judgments are righteous, and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. Let, I pray thee, thy loving kindness be for my comfort, according to thy word unto thy servant. Let thy tender mercies come unto me, that I may live, for thy law is my delight. Let the proud be ashamed, for they have overthrown me wrongfully, but I will meditate in your precepts. Let those that fear thee turn unto me, and they shall know thy testimonies. Let my heart be perfect in thy statutes, that I will not be ashamed. The psalmist has interactions here in this bit of the psalm. Uh, Interactions up towards with God by the word, as well as with the people who are around him, both good and bad, again by God's word. Here we see that God's word, the very expression of his heart and his will, is the thing by which we may relate with people, with the divine, with the people that we interact with and see. It is by God's word that we can understand. God's word is a great gift indeed. God makes us and fashions us for our good. He brings us into afflictions, but even unto mercies. And we see that, and this interaction with God's Word helps us to navigate this complex set of circumstances so that we can better understand what it is He is bringing us to know in these different things. Those who fear God are glad in each other, and they turn to each other because they find common ground and safety together, again, in God's Word. The Word is the great gift of unity in this psalm, unity with the divine as well as with our earthly brothers and sisters. Let's read it again. Thy hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. They that fear thee shall see me and be glad, because I have hoped in your word. I know, Lord, that your judgments are righteous, and that in faithfulness thou hast afflicted me. Let, I pray thee, thy loving kindness be for my comfort, according to thy word unto thy servant. Let thy tender mercies come unto me, that I may live, for thy law is my delight. Let the proud be ashamed. For they have overthrown me wrongfully, but I will meditate in your precepts. Let those that fear thee turn unto me, and they shall know your testimonies. Let my heart be perfect in your statutes, that I may be not ashamed. Those last two verses, I think, are really compelling. Let those that fear thee turn unto me, so that they can know God's word. When we know God's word, we are ready to share it and help others to know it well. And when our heart is right in God's statutes and word, we have nothing to be ashamed. And we can continue sharing that word with others, building our connections together as well as our great connection with God. Well, thanks for listening, and I hope to talk with you again soon.